we have the current potential difference graphs for a resistor and a thermistor. So we're trying to work out what the current will be if we connect the two things in series to a six volt battery. So let's say here is our cell and then we have our resistor, our thermistor, and we're trying to work out what the current is. So let's first work out from the graph which of these things represents the resistor and which one represents the thermistor. So for a resistor, if it's an ohmic resistor, then its resistance doesn't change. And that's consistent with the straight line that we have here. Uh, for a, if, we have, if we consider the equation V is equal to IR, and then we rearrange for I, I is then equal to 1 over R times V. So if R is constant, then this is of the form Y is equal to MX, where your gradient is 1 over R. So that would be a straight line that goes through the origin. The other one must therefore be the thermistor. So then we can think about the different rules for how voltage and current split or don't split in a series circuit. So current will remain the same in both components. Whatever current you have in one component must be the same as the current in the other component. And voltage would split. And the two voltages across both components would add up to make six volts. So when we look at our graph, we want to think about, we pick a current value and then for that particular current value, we see what the corresponding voltages through each of the components or across each of the components would be, and see if those two voltages add up to make six volts. So for instance, if we start with one, so we go across from one, this component, the resistor has a voltage of four volts, and then the um, thermistor has a voltage of about, let's say 5.6 or so uh, volts. And those two will not add up 4 and 5.6 will not add up to make 6 volts. So then we consider a different current. So let's do 0 0.5 now. For 0 0.5, the voltage across the resistor is 2 volts, and the voltage across the thermistor is 4 volts. And those two things would add up to make 6 volts. So therefore, the current must be 0 0.5. That's the only way that you can have the voltages adding up to make 6 volts.